Hi, Gen Chem 2 students. This is a weekly update video. Well, not so weekly. This is your update video for the week of uh, the 10th week of school, which begins technically tomorrow, which is April 6th, because we go to a Tuesday to Monday schedule. So a couple of things I want to touch on. Um, first off, in lecture, we have, don't forget that your syllabus lists everything you need to know about in lecture. So I went to the syllabus and I went to course schedule. So now we see we have a week exam three practice scheduled knowledge check available that opened Friday, closes at 3 p.m. today. So if you wanna take advantage of that, which again, just helps you to study for your test, um, I would do so before 3 p.m. today. It's not a separate grade. So if you miss it, it's not the end of the world, um, but it is a missed opportunity for figuring out what to study. Otherwise, you'll just have to go in to Alex and do some of any of the topics. You know, it'll be your judgment. Um, our open pie review period, meaning you can go back and do anything you've missed uh, or go forward if you want to. Um, but largely I recommend that people focus on the material for, for the upcoming exam. So you'll go back and look at objectives um, uh, objectives for, for chapter 16, essentially. So it's objective 16A and 16B. And again, but though the understanding you need from chapter 15 will feed into that as well. I did grade your exam from chapter 15. So go and take a look at the handwritten notes. That's where I put a lot of comments in Blackboard. Um, but overall, the class did fairly well on it. Some people didn't get enough time to finish it. So if you were one of those people, I sent an email individually. So be sure that you check your email too. At any rate, so that was last week. This week we have exam review until Thursday at 3 p.m. And then your exam number three about chapter 16 about equilibrium still opens up. Um, this is going to be open to you until Monday the 12th at 3 p.m. So sometime in between there you need to find uh, an opportunity to go in and do the work. I am gonna take off the time limit for this exam. However, um, if I see that people are taking an inordinate amount of time, two, three hours to do it, uh, I'll be very suspicious of that kind of test. So you still wanna treat it the same way you would an in-class test. But, um, you know, meaning you do your written work on paper as much as you can show me. People who show me more work tend to get more partial credit, which really, really helps in passing the tests. Um, but if you don't show me much or you don't show me anything, it's I, I, I can't give you the credit for it, right? So show me your dimensional analysis, show me the significant figures, show me that you know what equations to apply. Uh, ice tables are a big deal. Write them down with a reaction above it so that um, I, can, I can see what you understand, okay? Okay, so that's what's going on in lecture this week. No new content until Friday when um, the chapter 17 objective opens up, all right? Chapter 17 is the culmination of all of the equilibrium stuff we have been studying. So it's really important um, to, to invest some time in that. It opens up this Friday, 3 p.m. and it closes next Friday, 3 p.m. All right, so make sure you're staying on top of those objectives. You're coming to office hours and asking questions. And again, if, if you have some topics from chapters 15 and 16 that you didn't get to, it's probably gonna make you do those before you can jump into some of the things in 17. So keep that in mind. Um, okay, so that's lecture. Um, don't forget there are also videos that accompany all of this stuff. So that's where you would learn most of your material and then you go practice, practice, practice in Alex, okay? Uh, if you're skipping the lecture videos and really struggling in Alex, that's probably why. So make sure you're taking notes on the lecture videos. Everything is provided to you in the module, okay? In lab, we are supposed to be starting call scheme chapter 11. So if you're not, it's important that you are communicating with me uh, and developing a plan for you to catch up. Uh, if you're still working on chapter 10, you got to be coming into other lab sessions to make that up. 
I have also decided we are not gonna do this titration experiment where you measure a pH curve in person. I really like it. It's very valuable to do, but we are as a class kind of running behind schedule. So I'm going to turn week 11 into another call scheme day instead of having in-person titration experiment. I still have to assess you on your ability to understand titration curves though. So we are gonna have a worksheet um, that I'm gonna post on Blackboard with this announcement. This worksheet is a challenge. It's gonna take you multiple attempts to get it right. No one ever gets it on the first try or the second try even. Um, but historically it has really, really helped people to understand what's going on. I would also like to offer a couple of in-person study sessions. We can get a small classroom for a few people um, to come and look at the worksheet. You're gonna do it at home still, but we'll come and compare answers and talk about what's right, what's wrong, and that kind of thing um, in an office hour that we can hold on campus. I need to arrange a room for that, so I need to know who can come when. So in as soon as you can possibly get to it in your journal article this week, I need you to go in and tell me what your availability is going to be for next week and the week after. So we can plan uh, a flexible enough schedule that as many people who wanna come in and get feedback on it can do so. That's kind of in replacement of doing the titration experiment in lab. Okay, it's probably not as good, but it's the best we can do in the circumstances we're in. Okay, so week 11, which is not this week, that begins next Tuesday, the 12th, 13th. We are not gonna do the titration experiment in the lab. I don't want the pre-lab. You're not gonna have a report for it. Instead, we need to find time to go and do a, a worksheet that I'll be posting, okay? Again, doing it at home, bringing your answers with you, all the work shown to an in-person session if at all possible. Um, if it's impossible for you to make it, uh, we'll we'll handle that individually. We'll make a Zoom appointment for you to come and work on it with me, um, talk about it, check your answers, et cetera. All right. Um, we are going to still do the electrochemistry experiment partially. So that is in week 13. We are doing the part where you are gonna make your own electrochemistry battery. So that's part one. You are going to do that in person. It takes a fairly short period of time if you understand what you're doing. Part two, we usually do as a demonstration all at the hood. This will be a video that you will watch at home. So that means you're going to get probably two hours or so to do qual scheme during week 13. Um, and you get an extra three hours during week 11. This should be enough to catch people up. Some of you are gonna finish on time as scheduled, which means you won't even have to come into lab maybe the week, uh, the 14th week, okay? So if you finish, you don't need to come in except to do electrochem, okay? Um, as always, I am here to help you come use office hours. These topics are deep and confusing and they have a lot of intricate relationships that we need to pull on. Um, so especially equilibrium. So your test opens Thursday, closes on Monday. Make sure you're using all the resources, tutoring, office hours, whatever you need to do um, to get through this. If my office hours don't match up with your schedule, shoot me an email. Sometimes I can jump right in. Um, sometimes we can schedule an appointment, whatever it takes, okay? We're almost there, four more Tuesdays, five more Tuesdays, and then, and then finals and we're done, okay? So keep it up and I will see you all in lab.